Hello everyone and thank you for joining us today. We are going to do a speed seminar on the inclinometer. For those of you who are uh, unfamiliar with an inclinometer, it is a device used for measuring spinal motion. The inclinometer is a device that basically functions like a level. It has a water and oil interface uh, of two fluids and they're usually blue and white and it's at that, that interface uh, that the reading is taken as the uh, spine moves through its motion. On uh, this particular uh, picture here we have a circular face with a pivot in the center and that circle dial with all those numbers actually moves around so when this inclinometer is placed on the spine the user can set it to zero and as the patient moves their spine we can uh, then determine how many degrees of motion have taken place. One thing to remember about the inclinometer is that when you're measuring spinal motion, there are two inclinometers, one at the top of the spine segment being measured, one at the bottom, and the numbers are simply subtracted. The top number has the lower number subtracted, and the result is referred to as something called the true angle of spine motion. So some quick definitions. Again, the inclinometer is a device used for measuring spinal angles and measurement of motion. The inclinometer is used to uh, measure again both at the top and the lower part of the spine. And the measurements of the spine do require the use of two inclinometers because as the spine moves there's actually motion at both the top and the bottom portions. Next we have a little problem solving here for you. This is a doctor who's doing a spinal motion on a patient and we're going to say that this patient is uh, having her cervical spine motion measured and she's going to be flexing her head forward, meaning her chin, trying to touch down to her chest. And the doctor has two devices on this individual. The first device, inclinometer number one, is placed on the top of the head. And the second inclinometer device, number two, is placed at the T1 landmark, the bottom of the neck. And as the individual bends forward, the farthest she can go, we get a 30 degrees on the top, device number one, and a 10 degree on the bottom. So the question is, what is the true flexion angle? And the answer is 30 degrees minus 10 degrees equals 20 degrees. And that is the true flexion angle for this individual. Thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, we would encourage you to come visit our website at www.rate-fast.com and check in on the blog tab where we have uh, a more thorough and complete uh, document available on inclinometers and also additional rating considerations uh, used for impairment ratings in the AMA guides. Thanks again for joining.